not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamath astrology in today's video we will answer the question whether the rise of covid cases in china currently will have an impact on the world and on india in particular so will india again see a powerful corona wave similar to the delta wave which resulted in the loss of lakhs of lives is this going to happen again we will try to answer that in this video also in this video we will look at the impact of the corona case rising in china on the world now many people were laughing at me making fun of me because in my previous videos i have mentioned that covid is not going to leave the world till 2025 at least and in between there was a big lull there was no major uh, rise in cases no major fatalities but that was an interim halt so the first thing i want to answer is that covid is going to continue in different parts of the world till 2025 now let us come to the core question on the screen the left hand side chart is china's natal chart that is the chart when china as a republic was formed on 1st october 1949 31 pm beijing now few things you can guess by looking at the natal chart itself in the natal chart you can see the lagna rising is the sign of capricorn so the sign of capricorn is the first house in china's natal chart and it represents the physical self or the government of china itself now the lord of capricorn that is the lord of the first house or the lord of the lagna is saturn or shani who is placed in the 8th house of leo in an enemy sign so when the lagnesh goes into the 8th house it means the country is undergoing a lot of transformation so if you analyze china's journey right from 1949 you can see major transformations in the journey also the lagnesh being in the 8th house and the lagnesh ruling the sign of capricorn indicates that this is a very secretive government secrets do not come out easily from china so you can never trust the actual figures given by the government of china let us look at the fourth house of the natal chart the fourth house indicates the public it indicates happiness it indicates comforts who is the ruler of the fourth house the fourth house is the sign of aries in china's natal chart also known as mesh and the ruler of mesh or aries is mars or mangal who is placed with pluto in the sign of cancer so you can see plma that is the sign of cancer which is china's seventh house seventh house is the house of partnerships it is the house of relationships so you can see china definitely does not have good relationships with the neighboring countries and pluto with mars definitely shows a lot of aggression on part of china towards its neighbors since the fourth lord is debilitated in the sign of cancer it means the happiness of people of china will always be impacted by the army by the government and this will be a very strict rule a communist rule but look at the 10th house the 10th house lord venus is well placed in the sign of libra which means that this country will have lot of wealth its 10th house represents karma it represents business it represents profession so on the economic front china has always been doing well it is a large manufacturing hub and there is a lot of money flow in and out of china so venus here supports china 
on the work front on the business front now look at the ninth house of china which is the sign of virgo where you can see neptune ketu mercury and sun present now whenever sun is with ketu it is not a good combination it indicates a depth towards ancestors it indicates loss of good fortune and sun is the karaka of health immunity virgo itself is the sign of conflicts diseases and healing so when sun is with ketu here it eventually shows that the destiny of this country is such that the people of this country will suffer from a lot of diseases in times ahead jupiter in the 12th house of sagittarius also indicates huge expenses incurred by this country it indicates huge losses also it also shows that people in this country like to live in isolation rahu is in the third house of pisces and third house is the sign of communication rahu is deceptive rahu is illusion so china never gives straight forward communication it always tries to hide things and it also employs deceptive tactics with its neighbors now this is what the natal chart of china clearly tells now to gauge the covid situation in china i have taken the chart as on 1st january 2023 around 9:36 am beijing time okay and at that time you can see the lagna rising is the sign of capricorn which is the same as the lagna rising in the natal chart now to see whether covid will actually impact china you should see how the lagnesh is placed how the lagna house is impacted in the transit so currently you can see saturn in the sign of capricorn venus is also there as on 1st jan 2023 but what happens on 14 january 2023 14 january 2023 is the day of makar sankranti and around this time that is 14th or 15th jan the sun will move into the sign of capricorn so when sun moves into the sign of capricorn it comes close to saturn and therefore it indicates a time when the health of the natives living in china will be impacted because sun is the karka for immunity in china's chart sun is also the eighth lord of chronic diseases of transformations of hidden secrets and when it is coming in conjunction with saturn it definitely shows the health of people in china will be greatly impacted but now there is an interesting twist on 18 january 2023 saturn moves into the sign of aquarius so there will be some interim period when the disease will become milder but again around 18th feb or 14th feb 2023 the sun will move into aquarius and again come in conjunction with saturn in the second house that is when the financial sector of china will be greatly impacted the disease will also greatly increase so the month of february and march is very critical for china it is a time when the disease or the covid pandemic is bound to increase leaps and bounds in china now look at the fourth house in the transit chart in the fourth house you can see rahu transiting the fourth house as i explained earlier is the sign of happiness it is the sign of the motherland and it is the sign of peace now when rahu is in the sign of aries the sign of aries represents new beginnings it represents quick decisions hasty decisions so with rahu here what happens is rahu also represents diseases rahu also represents viruses and rahu is not very good in the sign of aries which means that the happiness of people of china will be badly impacted because of the presence of rahu 
in the sign of Aries. So definitely in the times ahead, starting from 1st Jan 2023, China is going to face a very tough time. Now, what about the other countries? Whenever the sign of Capricorn, whenever the sign of Aries is afflicted, Western countries also face a problem. Which means that this pandemic will spread to certain Western countries and there will be severe problems in those countries also. Lacks of people will definitely lose their lives because of this pandemic in China as well as in the Western countries. Now, what about India? That has been a major question which is being asked to me in the comment section of my videos. Now, definitely India has the Taurus Ascendant. And in the Taurus Ascendant, currently Mars is transiting. However, in India's chart, Saturn moves into Aquarius around 18 Jan 2023. And that is the 10th house for India. So India will do well on the business front, on the world front. Because Saturn is in its Mool Trikon sign in the 10th house. And it shows that India will do well on the world front. The government of India will manage things well. However, Venus is still in close proximity to Saturn which definitely shows that there will be an impact of this COVID pandemic on India. Venus is the Lagnesh and the 6th house Lord in India's chart. And when Venus is with Saturn, definitely cases of COVID will also rise in India. However, India has 11th house Jupiter transiting the sign of Pisces which is very good and this Jupiter is aspecting the sign of Virgo which is the fifth house in India's chart which indicates knowledge which indicates love and Jupiter here gives a lot of protection. The Sun is the fourth Lord in India's chart. India has a Taurus ascendant. So the sign where Mars is placed in the right hand side chart that is India's ascendant. So fourth house from that is Leo ruled by the sun. And as you know, fourth house indicates happiness, peace, comforts and motherland. Now when sun is going to transit with Saturn for the next two months that is January and February. India is bound to see a rise in the COVID cases. Also. On the job front, on the work front, there will be certain challenges, certain obstacles. For example, the recession can pose certain challenges to India's economy. But within two months, once the sun enters the sign of Pisces, that is around the month of March, things will become better for India. So India will not be greatly impacted by the COVID pandemic. There will be a rise in cases, but there will be no major fatalities or increase in fatalities like what we saw during the Delta wave in India. Now again around April 20th, 2023, Jupiter is going to move from the sign of Pisces into the sign of Aries and that is when it will come in contact with Rahu forming a Chandal Yoga in India's 12th house and definitely that is a time when India will face great challenges, great problems. However, this COVID wave is definitely not going to cause large scale deaths in India I don't see any challenges, major challenges such as those faced in the Delta wave coming back to India. But definitely this phase is very challenging 
for china and the western countries especially china will face a lot of problems once the sun enters the sign of capricorn that is starting 14 jan 2023 china will see lot of rise in cases large scale deaths and severe problems because of the covid pandemic so friends this new covid wave will definitely have a major impact on china and the western countries to a large extent however india will be relatively safe india will still see a rise in covid cases but india will not see deaths like what it saw during the delta wave so friends this is my analysis of the new covid pandemic which has started in china and its impact on the western countries and india so if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button for any queries write to us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll be glad to assist you so friends do take adequate precautions but nothing to fear if you live in india so friends take care stay safe we'll see you soon with another video till then bye and remain safe